Hi there and welcome to eTool. I'm going to attempt something pretty ambitious today. I'm going to try and do an LCA in five minutes of your time. So very quickly show you what's possible with eTool. Um, so I've got a little granny flat here. Okay, It's really, really rough. So um, that's the only way we're going to be able to put this through. But um, And in here I've listed uh, some of the key components. So we can uh, pop those, actually start populating eTool with that um, data. So you can see there there's 66 metres of floor. So we're going to go in here and create a new project, which I already showed you how to do. So um, we'll fast forward through. Okay, so we've got our project set up. And, uh, and then we'll set up our building and once again I'll fast forward th through this to give myself a chance and then once we're actually into the building we'll obviously create a new design and uh, get stuck into the LCA so we're into the design and we're going to start populating with templates so the first one I'm going to put in there is the floor um, and we've got just a concrete slab, 100 mil th thick, and we said there before 66 metres square to that slab. Next one's the roof area, or the roof. So we'll just say here uh, that it's a tin roof, uh, but a timber frame. And that was actually 77 meters squared I think so let me check that yep losing valuable time here on the roof and we'll just have a quick look so we've got external wall area 66 meters squared as well so back into our design new template for the walls and we'll just add a brick veneer wall and next one we want to know is what's our uh, internal wall area so 17 meters squared of internal wall there so once again hopefully we can find um, a template for the internal wall and we do have brick or maybe um, timber frame plasterboard clad uh, 17 meters squared uh, I've got 11 meters squared of glazing here uh, so back into our model and we'll just put some standard uh, aluminium single glazed windows in. So we've got some painted area here. I'm sure that's already included in our templates anyway so we don't have to worry about that. And we've got tiled floor in the bathroom, 5 metres squared plus tiled wall in the toilet I think, 5 metres squared and also some um, carpet in the living room there. So back into our model and template here. So we had some tiled floor that we need to add. Floor tiles and we had 20 meters squared floor tiles and also some carpet. So that'll be an internal finish and we'll just have a look at the carpet, um, some nylon glue down carpet. And I think it was 45 meters squared that we had of the carpet there. So that's the majority of our uh, an LCA done. Um, we also have some really rough templates for uh, operational energy as well. Um, so just to complete this, uh, I mean this is operational energy for a three bedroom house but let's just say that it's using half the operational energy of a three bedroom house. And that gives us a pretty, um, you know, really rough obviously, five minute LCA on a house. And you can see here that over its life it's expected to uh, um, emit about 112 tonnes of carbon or be responsible for the emission of about 112 tonnes of carbon. Uh, majority of it is, is actually operational energy. Um, there's 16% in the materials, 3% in the recurring, and 4% in the transport of the materials and the trade stuff. Um, not a lot of assembly there. You can see there it's only two tons out of the out of the total. Uh, so that's a five-minute LCA and E tool. Um, obviously, you'd normally go into a lot more detail, but it shows, I guess, some of the power of the tool to really quickly um, put together uh, uh, designs and, and and get a carbon footprint. Thank you.